Hi, I'm James Bronner, show director for the Bronner Brothers International Beauty Show. And this is my lovely family. Uh, this is my wife, Stephanie, of 23 years. Uh, these are my three boys and four girls. So we're a family of nine all together. We had seven kids in our first 10 years of marriage. So we've been quite busy. But we wanted to make this video just to give you some encouragement uh, let you know we love you, we've been praying for you, we're thinking about you, and let's let you know that we're all in this together. So we've been quarantined here at home. Uh, it's a lot of people. We're almost at the presidential limit of those 10 people in one place, but there's nothing we can do about that since we're all one family. Uh, but we are just wanted to encourage you and let you know that this too shall pass. We've never seen anything like this, but together we can make it. And it's times like these, you really can't test your faith, your character, your resilience in the good times. It's the tough times, it's the challenging times, the times of crisis, that really what you have on the inside, it shows what you're really made of. But this too shall pass. No matter how bad it seems, this too shall pass. And we've been through as even as a company um, times like this before, not quite the same, but just as challenging with us personally. There was once a time when my father, when he was over the beauty show, he got a call and he had to go to the funeral of a sibling. He left that funeral and got a call that another sibling had died. He had to fly from one city to another, from one funeral of a sibling to another funeral of a sibling. When he ended that second funeral, he then still had to produce the beauty show. And it was times like that that really defined what was inside of him, the kind of leader that he was. It was the tough times. And it's the same that will be for you. That it's really these times that you'll know how much faith you really have. You'll know how much toughness you really have. Because everybody is not going to make it. But we believe in you. And together, we can make it. So we want to just encourage you with this video that... It's only a temporary thing to stay strong that we will pull through this. And as the virus subsides, just like you see people going out to the store, uh, rushing and cleaning the shelves for toilet tissue, they're going to do the same thing with your shops. So they've been shut up in the house and haven't done the hair and the nails. And once it's time for them to go back to work, they're going to be calling and blowing your phone up to make appointments, to come in and get the hair done, to get cuts, to get nails, to get all of the services that you provide. So because of that, make sure you get your rest now because you're gonna be working around the clock uh, once this economy kicks back up. And I wanna just give you, before I go, four things that will help you during this time, that if you do these things, that it'll help you get through it and it'll help you come out better on the other side of this. So number one is to apply for all government aid. Apply for all government aid. The government has granted over four trillion dollars. That's with a T. A trillion is a thousand billion. A billion is a thousand million. So that's a lot of money. And some people they say I don't want government aid. I want to do things uh, by myself. But you know these are unprecedented times. We haven't seen anything like this before and that government money that came from us the taxpayers so that's our money and we want you as an industry to participate in this money so we don't want other industries to go get this money and it's gone when it comes to us so the banks and all of these other industries are getting this money so we want you to get your fair share and we've been in business for 73 years and even with all of that history we still had to apply for that money ourselves. So we have two of our companies, we have applied for government aid. So don't be ashamed, don't be worried about uh, how it looks. You need to get that money. That money is there for you and it's designed, uh, it was approved by Congress and the president to help you in times like this. So what we found out though, is that it can get a little complicated for people. Uh, just reading through all of the things and all of the rules that applies. So what we did, um, since we went through all of the work to do ours, we went through and we simplified it. And we put up a web page to make it simple for you. 
So it's simply at uh, BronnerBrothers.com or BronnerBros.com forward slash virus help. So that's BronnerBros.com forward slash virus help. And on that site, we'll tell you, you know, it's, it's about four or five stimulus packages, uh, programs that'll help you. So some are $10,000, some are other amounts. So we want you to, to be uh, padded and secured with this government aid to help you through this season. So that's the first thing. So go there to tell you who qualified, you know, whether you're a booth renter or whether you have a salon suite or whether you own the whole salon or own a barber shop, you're an independent contractor. So whatever your case, we'll break it down there, tell you which ones you qualify for, tell you how much money you get. Uh, and we even did video tutorial walkthroughs of actually the online application. So to walk you through, to tell you exactly how to fill it out, and we also tell you when you can expect to get that check in the mail. So we want you to get that bag from the government. So make sure you go to bronnerbros.com forward slash virus help. There's no charge, it's just something we did to, since we had to figure everything out for ourselves, we didn't want you to have to figure it out for yourself. So we put that page there to help you. And there's also some other resources there. So the four tips. So number two is to be safe. Um, this week, we were very saddened to hear about, uh, depending on when you're watching this, it might be last week, but one of our masters and greats in the industry, Mr. Charles Gregory. So he was an, uh, a great supporter of our beauty show and worked with my father for the, over 30 years he's worked with us. I had an awesome salon. He was on the set of Tyler Perry movies and shows, and he just worked with countless celebrities. He taught classes at our show. He's just been a legend. Uh, at our show, we had something called Evening with the Masters. He did an awesome presentation, and he's done this throughout the years. He's won awards. We presented him with one a couple of years ago, but he's, he's won all type of accolades, but he's just a great in our industry and we honor him and we remember him. So he passed from Corona uh, this past week and it's just a wake up call for us. And we also got news of another barber that's in our industry. He was 46 years young, the same age I am, uh, 46. And because he wasn't uh, adhering to the guidelines and the warnings, he was still servicing uh, clients and he caught the virus and he passed. So we want to make sure that you be safe. That's number two, be safe. Uh, we know that this thing affects your money some. We know that it affects your lifestyle some. But out of all of the things you have in your life, there's nothing more valuable than your actual life. So your other things may be down, but your life is more valuable. You're more valuable to us than any other thing. So be safe. We got to all make some sacrifices and, and just adhere to the regular safety precautions that stay home and, and locked in as much as possible. Uh, you can go outside in nature for exercise, but still maintain that six foot uh, distance. Make sure that you uh, wear some type of face covering. Uh, if you don't have a face mask, you know, put a scarf or bandana around your, your, your face there to protect you. Keep your six foot uh, distance. Make sure that you either wear gloves or, and wash your hands frequently and use and carry hand sanitizer. So just take the basic safety precautions. Don't take this thing lightly. I know in, when it first started, a lot of us thought, you know, it wasn't that serious, but we all see that it is very serious and we want to take it serious and make sure we go by the guidelines because you don't know even who else you would pass it to. Even if you're healthy and strong and young, we all have relatives in our lives that have some age on them, so we want to think about them and make sure that we stay safe. That's number two. Number three tip is to check on elders, friends, and your clients. So call mom every day and your dad is still living, aunties and uncles. Just check on those that may have some age on them. This virus is more dangerous for them because of their age. They might not have as strong of an immune system, so check on them. They're locked in and they don't recommend you go visit them the same, so make sure you FaceTime them. Uh, if they have iPhones and know how to do that so they can see you and, and get that face-to-face. -face. So, But make sure you check on them on a regular basis. 
Uh, and along with that, uh, call your friends, uh, also your clients. So even though you're not doing that hair right now, at least you're not supposed to be now, if you, if you take those precautions, call every single one of them. It, it takes time, but if you, you call them and show concern, let them know you're thinking about them, that you miss them. Ask them how they're doing with their health and how their family members are doing. Uh, just show love, show concern. We all need it at a time like this when we've been separated physically. It doesn't mean that emotionally we have to stay separated. So call them and check on them. And after this is passed, they'll remember that and realize that you cared, you, you called and, and checked on them and their loved ones. So make sure you, you, you stay in touch with the elders, your friends, and your clients as well. Number four tip I have for you is to take this time to improve yourself in six areas of life. That's body, mind, spirit, relationships, money, and your future. So we get so busy sometimes just going through the day-to-day -day business of life and trying to make money and do this and do that, that we often don't, time, don't take time to actually improve ourselves. So this slowdown allows all of us to reevaluate things, to really contemplate on where we are in life and to really improve these key areas of life. For some of you, this slowdown and this time that may seem like a curse or a, a downtime will actually be a blessing that'll set you up for a future that you would not have had if you would have kept running full speed. So use this time to improve yourself in those six areas. So starting with body, the gyms are closed right now, but if you go on YouTube and on the internet, there are all type of workout routines that you can do absolutely free. My wife does them uh, every day. Uh, she, she has a, a free one that she goes through different workouts every day, as well as my other family members. So you have free resources on YouTube and on the internet. Use them. Don't worry about what you don't have. Focus and use what you do have. The same thing, get rest for your body. We've been working so many hours when we didn't have a virus, didn't have time to rest. So many Americans are sleep deprived. Use this as a time to recharge, to catch up on your sleep, to, to, to recharge your mind and your body. The other thing, since restaurants, you can't go sit down in them, this is a great time to learn some new cooking recipes and skills. My daughter was making something today that she's never made before, just looking it up on YouTube and finding recipes. So it allows you to eat fresher, to eat healthier, to, to improve the health of your body. You know, like cooking at home is gone out of style. Some of us needed this to make us get back to eating the old fashioned way of cooking fresh, healthy foods at home. And with the body, so you wanna make sure you exercise, eat good, or rest good and that will recharge you for when it's time to go back because you're gonna really be working more than you were before once this thing opened back up. Second thing is mind. So, you know, we are gonna watch some Netflix, but just make sure that you do some things also to improve your mind. So read, listen to podcasts, TED Talks, learn new skills. So some things that you haven't had time to do before, this is the greatest asset that you can invest in. A lot of times people ask me, what's a great investment? Right here is your greatest investment. This is your money maker. So improve your mind, your skill set. Learn something new that you've been planning and wishing to learn. This is the time to do it while you can't go out. Number three is spirit there. You need to pray and to meditate more. Even science has validated that prayer and meditation calms the nerves. You know, this thing has everybody nerves just on edge. But if you'll spend time with your creator every day, you'll find that your stress levels will go down, that you'll be able to deal with what's going on in a better format. Last year in 2019, I consider it the best year of my life. Just relationship-wise with my family, my kids did the best, uh, my money did the best, and health did the best. And when I got to the end of the year, I said, all of these amazing things have happened this year. Let me just think back to see what I changed this year that may have caused this because I want all of my years to be as amazing as this year. 
And when I went back and looked at everything I was doing, there was one particular thing that I changed that I think caused it to be the best year of my life. And that was, I said, before I cut my cell phone on every day, before I cut the television or do anything else, before I talk to people, I'm going to go into my prayer closet and pray, commune with God and meditate before him, get his will for the day, Thank, be thankful to him and, and grateful of all of the things he's blessed me with. And I began to wake up every morning before I did anything else, go and talk to my creator. And he just began to reveal plans to me, better ways of doing things and just favor in all of my life. And that was the one thing that I attributed to giving me the best year of my life. And some of you all need to hear that and you need to do that because the statistics say the number one thing most Americans do first thing when they wake up is look at their cell phones. And once they look at it, they get caught up in text, get caught up in social media and all of these things that's really not going to benefit their lives. So the one that created you, a lot of times people look for mentors and I can tell you there's nobody you'll meet that's wiser than the one that created you. Mm -hmm. So he's free of charge, always available and accessible, but yet we don't make time for him. We'll go try to hook up with celebrities to get them to, to mentor us, but won't use the very present resource that's, that's the most wise, the most caring for you to use right there every morning. So use this time to build your spiritual uh, muscles. It's times like these where your faith, your spiritual endurance needs to really kick in. And God is the only one that knows the future. We got all these experts talking about the virus and they've already readjusted things. They don't know. They, they give a best uh, guesstimate off the models, but God knows. So connect and commune with the one who truly knows. Number three, the thing and area of improvement is in your relationships. When we visit people on their sick bed about to die, the one thing that they regret, they, they never say, I, re I regret I didn't work more. I regret I didn't make more money. They say, I wish I would have spent more time with the people that I love. So don't make that mistake. You have time now to slow down, to be with the people you love, to build those relationships. This will give you more happiness and more fulfillment than almost anything else in life. So, much so many times we focus on money but we don't focus on the thing that gives us the most fulfillment. Learn the love language of your romantic partner if you have one. And this will allow them to feel love more. Uh, this is a time to communicate with them, uh, to, to spend more time. We actually, my wife and I, we've been married for 23 years now. And a year or two ago, we created a site called themarriagechallenge.com. You can go there, there's a free program there that it helps improve your relationship. It gives you tips, uh, it's, a, it's a challenge actually, but it gives you tips and techniques on how to communicate better. They're also saying that there's more violence, uh, domestic violence now because people are shut up. They're having to communicate uh, more and the stress is higher, so it's causing more fights. So if you go there, there are all type of resources uh, to help you with budgeting, with your money, to help you with your intimacy, your dating ideas, just all type of things. Uh, that's at themarriagechallenge.com. You have to spend more time with your kids now because they can't go to school and you can't go to work most of the time. But use that time to be productive with them. So begin to help them to analyze, to see what their, their gifts and their talents and callings are in life. And then look for ways to, to help them to grow those abilities to maximize and, and to really get into that purpose. And your teenagers or kids may have been dealing with issues during the school year, and you might have been busy and didn't have time to really talk with them and deal with those issues. Take this time to really have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with your kids, to really to get to the, the root of the matter. Let them know you're here for them and you want to hear about it, and, and really increase the bond that you have there with them. So this is a great time. Some of you will look back and say, this was the most blessed thing that could have happened to me, being forced to stay home with my family, to, to build a more solid 
union. And it's just going to be a blessing when you look back. It's all about perspective. So use this time to grow those relationships that matter the most. And even another thing I would recommend is if you don't have one, to develop a family mission statement. So just about all businesses have one, governments have one, churches have one. But the home, the unit that's the most important, we have no mission statement. So it's, it's a wonder so many homes are falling apart. They don't know what they stand for. So a mission statement, it talks about the purpose of the family, the values of the family, uh, wisdom of the family, uh, techniques that the family uses. So if you don't know how to create one because it's really not taught anywhere, you can go to my personal website and just look at ours on there. Uh, you can download it and, and, and put it in the Word and just change it up to match your values, but it will give you a template. Uh, it's something that we try to go over once a month as a family to, to really ingrain it in the children and even in ourselves to make sure we're staying on course. But you can go to jamesbronner.com and click on uh, Family Mission Statement and just read it, download it, and make it your own and, and, and blow it up, put it on your wall, begin to go over it with your family. And just that vision will carry your family through generations. So this is a time to do things like that, that in all the business we haven't had a chance to do. So don't forget to make sure you have a family mission statement. The next area is money. So take this time to form a budget. Do a spreadsheet with all of your, your income on it, all of your expenses listed out. Go back through your credit card bills and your bank statements, or all of your receipts. So we don't, a lot of times, take time to do a budget in the business. Do a budget because money is going to become even more critical with our incomes being affected by this virus. So this is the time to make sure, to look at all of your expenses, to make sure that you cut back where you can, to make sure to, to thinking of ideas to, to get extra streams of income. So this is the time to make those financial goals and to really have these talks with your loved ones on how you're going to make it, the changes you're going to make, uh, to, to go back to reading, to learn how to, to budget better, how to invest better. So to get those money management skills, because if you got less money coming in, you need to learn how to manage it better. And out of this experience, we all should have a targeted goal to have at least three to six months of savings. I think this experience shows the value of having those emergency savings, because even without this virus, you never know what could happen in life. Um, you could injure yourself in an accident. You could have to have an operation and have you down for two or three months. So you never know what can happen in life. So the only way to, is to be prepared to have this emergency fund of three to six months. So make that budget and make sure you're saving a certain amount every month so you can build up that emergency fund for you and your family. So that sixth area of improvement is that of future. This is the time to write out your, your goals, your plans, your dreams. Um, like I said, put that mission statement up there and to show where you're going and what you stand for, what you believe in, how you're going to get there. This is the time to, to really meditate on what you're doing and, and, and really come up with new innovative ideas. We get so busy trying to make money that we don't stop to innovate, to reinvent how we're doing things. So this is the time in the slowness to really become creative to become when things are tightest, that's when innovation flows the most. You got to think about some creative ways when you don't have the money. When you got a lot of money, you can just pay people to do stuff. When you don't have a lot of money, you got to be creative in how you go about doing it. So again, form those multiple streams of income just in case something happens with one of your income sources and begin to put these things in writing. Some of you may even want to use this time to, to write a book. You may have been thinking about it, and now you have the time, or, or to do a blog, or whatever the case may be. Plan for the future. Use this time to improve your body, your mind, your spirit, your relationships, your money, and your future. Don't forget to apply for the government aid. Be safe. Check on your elders, your friends, your clients, prove yourself in these six areas. And also, 
We know everybody's at home. You can't go to the movie theaters or the bowling alleys. So another thing that we're gonna do as the uh, Brunner Brothers International Beauty Show, we're gonna take some of our content from past shows and free of charge. It's not something you'll have to register for, but just stay tuned on the, the Brunner Brothers Instagram and Facebook, all of our social media. Uh, we're gonna be doing some Instagram lives and we're gonna take old hair battle footage. We want you to feel like you were at the show with all of your friends and colleagues. We'll be taking comedy show and fashion show and instructional things. And so stay tuned. We'll announce when we're going to do those, those lives coming up. And we may try to do something once a week just to give you some entertainment, some education and inspiration at home. So stay tuned there. We'll be providing some further resources for you. And on a final note, as I mentioned about strengthening your spirit, we also, before we go, as a family, we just want to pray for you. We believe in the power of prayer. Uh, and this is the time when we need to be connected to our creator most of all. We're right here at Easter season. It's a time when our Savior gave his life, rose from the dead, just for you. So I'm going to ask my wife, Miss Stephanie Brunner. Uh, we've been blessed to have uh, a stylist here in the home. She is a <laughs> licensed cosmetologist. So that's why my hair still looks decent and all of the kids' hair. So we've been blessed to have that here uh, in the house with us. Uh, so she, she is licensed and she actually, if you didn't know, she is the head of all of our competitions at the beauty show. So all of those barbering competitions and fantasy competitions, she's the one that puts all of that together, keep it running smoothly and to really manage that main stage. So we thank her, uh, we're blessed to have her. So I'm gonna ask, I think I've talked enough, but just wanna let you know before I go, I love you, appreciate you, I believe in you. And together we can make it. Call your colleagues, just encourage them, uh, share this video with them. And it's from the bottom of our heart and here at Bronner Brothers and the Bronner family, from all of the brothers, all of the family, all of the staff, we love you and we can make it through this. Don't give up the faith, don't give up hope. Keep believing, we can make it through it. Help is on the way and this is a temporary thing, so don't make permanent decisions in temporary situations. So improve yourself, come out of this better than you were before. So just bow your heads and I'm gonna ask my wife, Stephanie, she'll say a special prayer over you. Amen, so can everybody just touch somebody? And you, I would like for you to touch it. If you're there, touch the phone because Matthew 18, 19 says, if two or more are gathered in his name, touching anything, he will answer the prayer. So we're just believing by faith that this prayer is going through the internet. Back in the day, they didn't have the internet. So we're just touching and agreeing with you for all the great and wonderful things God has in store. Father, right now in your wonderful name, the wonderful name of Jesus, we just give you glory and honor because you are the God of all. You see all, Lord, and this plague is not new to you. God, this is not the first time this has happened in the earth and you are in control of it all, Father. So in your name, in your wonderful, matchless, majestic name, Lord, we just call upon your mercy and your grace, Lord. We just thank you that if we ask you, Lord, those things that are in our hearts, you're faithful. You're faithful to give them to us. So touching and agreeing right now, Lord, in the midst of my family and my family in the beauty industry, Lord, we just yes. touch and agree by faith to believe, God, that this thing shall pass. Yes. I thank you, Lord, that even in the biblical days in Exodus, Lord, when you had the Israelites to go into their homes and to slay the lamb without blemish, Lord, you had them to put the blood of that lamb over the doorposts. Right now, Jesus, we thank you that in this season, you are the lamb without blemish. Yes. And we ask you that you would allow us to put your blood over our doorposts, that this death angel will pass us by. Yes. God, we thank you that we're inside communing with one another, that we're speaking, Lord, the words of your gospel, Lord, with each other. Father, I ask you in Jesus' name to increase your word in every home. God, I ask you to increase your presence in every home, Lord. Yes. You know what the need is before we even ask. Because God, you are the God of the yesterday, 
the today and the forevermore. We thank you, God, that everything that's happening, you already know. You've already solved it. We're just walking and working through the process. So God, by this process, Lord, we know you're going to make us stronger. We know you're going to help us to live longer, that you're going to believe that we're believing that our businesses and our families, our relationships, our finances, God, all of it is going to grow through this process, God, because we're going to lean and depend on you. God, we ask you to speak loudly into our hearts. Lord, we ask you to speak loudly into the direction you would have us to go in. Father, speak loudly into the financial situation that you're going to bring us through. Father, we just thank you because we know you're able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. So God, in your name and in your precious blood of Jesus, we just give you the glory. And we thank the Holy Spirit for being our helper, for being our keeper, for giving us comfort, for bringing us through, Lord. We just pray for every family that is bereaved right now. We ask you to bring comfort, Lord, because you are the comforter, the greatest comforter. Father, we just ask you to be with every home right now, Father, that's afraid. We ask you to give them faith beyond measure in the name of Jesus. I thank you for allowing us to stand in your, in your presence and believe, God, that you are in control and that we don't have to fear. The devil has to flee and that we can stand firmly walking by faith and not by sight. While the, for our sight right now is crazy, but we know by faith, Lord, that you're going to bring us through it better than we started. Yes. So right now, God, every beauty industry holder, Father, right now we just ask you to touch them, their minds, declutter their homes, declutter their thoughts. Lord, we ask you to bless their bodies. Anyone who's fearful that they might have the virus, God, we ask you to give them confirmation, Lord. We ask you to give them the, the strength to go and be tested, Father. Thank you for every testing location, Father. I thank you right now for the healing of the blood of Jesus, Lord, that no weapon formed against us shall ever prosper. It may form, but it's not going to prosper. Yes. So in your name and in your blood, Lord, we just allow the blood of Jesus to be over us. We just rest in peace knowing that you have it under control. And we thank you, Lord. Thank we thank you. you as we shelter in place yes. that you are sheltering over us. God, yes. That we're dwelling in your secret place. And I thank you for everything that we don't have to fear. We don't have to be afraid of the arrow by night, nor the, ter the terror by day, nor the arrow by night, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand is going to fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but it's not gonna come, going to come nigh us. Only with our eyes will we behold and see the reward of the wicked. Father, we just call on your promises. Yes. And we thank you for those of the word of God that is our promise that we can call upon and have peace in. So by your precious blood, we thank you. And we ask you thank during this resurrection you. season that we give you the glory, you the honor, you the praise. You deserve it, God. You're above all. You see all. You sit high. You know all, God. You're omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent. And we praise you, God. We praise you in the midst of sadness. We praise you in the midst of joy. We praise you in the midst of this plague. We praise you when it's gone. God, we thank you because you are our everything. Yes. And we'll be careful to honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And we will continue to touch and agree. Pray daily on your behalf. God is with you. We can all make it together. So we believe in you. We love you. And we thank you for your support. And we will get through this. This too shall pass. Be blessed. Continue to keep the faith. This is only a temporary thing.